Jordan still a spectator with 10 minutes to play in the half and his team down seven. Who coach out to Jordan puts it on the floor against McKee and the fadeaway is good. Only his second field goal. Best open for three. In and out. Jordan back the other way. It's Kerr. His three is there. The all-time career leader in three-point accuracy has been having a very quiet series, but a big bucket there that brings them to within two after they had trailed by 13. Antonio Davis surrounded, and his pass picked off by Kerr. Here comes the crowd, and here come the Bulls. Looking to tie. Michael missed it. And it's out of bounds to the Bulls. Jordan splits the defense and ties the game. Kerr around the screen set by Longley. Dumps it off to Rodman, who will be coming to the free throw line. Now Michael knows that he has shooters out on the floor right now. Penetrates, drops it to Kerr for the three. Kerr from Michael. Gets his own rebound and is belted by Best. Foul on Best was his second. Kerr nearly automatic from the free throw line hits the first. Kerr hits them both. See, I like what Phil Jackson has done. He's bought time from his bench. He didn't look to him in the first five or six games, but now he's bought time. Best misses a three, and Bushler has the rebound. Short to the hoop, then dishes it out to Pippen. Cross-court curve, open three. Got it! A 17-point swing since the first quarter. Chicago by four. Now you watch Dennis Rodman, who sets an open court screen on Reggie Miller so Jordan can drive off. He nails Miller. Miller falls down, is slow getting up, and they swing it cross court to Kerr, and he's wide open for the J. Miller is late in getting back, and he nails the three. And today he's hit two big threes and got to the free throw line, and eight big points off the bench now for Steve Kerr. Michael in the lane. Smiths into the lane against three defenders. Can't put it down. Loose ball tipped out to Pippen. Kerr can tie it. And does. Offensive rebound that you don't get. A jump ball that you don't get. Steve Kerr spotting up. He's been big today. This is his 11th point of the game. And that's a huge shot because you give up a jump ball. Best trying to drive on Kerr. Pushed off of him for an offensive foul. And now Best has four. Yeah, see, Best was trying to turn that corner. Smith had his man sealed. Best was trying to turn the corner. And he used that forearm just to push Kerr off. Pippen. Chicago leads it, 81-79. Five on the shot clock. Michael dumps it off to an open Longley. And the Bulls have a little bit of breathing room. Pippen driving. Throws up a little hook. It bounces home plus a foul. Reggie running off screens, but it's Smith with a quick turnaround and miss. Dale Davis can't hit the tip. Longley has it, protects the ball, and on to the finals. For the sixth time in eight years, go the Chicago Bulls. Hey, man, this team is, is real tough, as you can see. I mean, we had to fight for, for everything that we got, and 
You know, we had some key plays from Judge Bushler. The judge came in and gave us some great minutes. Steve Kerr got us back in the game in the first half, and I think that's where we really, you know, momentum-wise, start to pick things up. When we first came out, I could sense everybody was a little nervous, a little tense. This team played a heck of a game defense on me, and, you know, everybody has to step up and expand the defense. And Steve Kerr really did a good job with that, and Luke and Tony Kukoc.